welcome in this video we will discuss about the singapore convention on mediation so basically this is one of the convention which has been signed recently and this is the first time any international convention has been named after singapore and it is related to the process of mediation so international dispute has become one of the major concern and in such scenario mediation process is one of the thing which has been highlighted so let's try to understand what the singapore convention of mediation is all about so first of all the singapore convention of mediation came into force on 12 september 2020 so basically just remember this is a 2020 convention so this is uh, the present year is the one when this convention was signed and it will provide more effective way for enforcing mediated settlements of corporate disputes so basically this is going to be a mediation kind of a convention and what kind of dispute would be mediated that would be corporate dispute so it will be mediating the corporate disputes involving businesses in india and other countries that are signatories to the convention so basically just the other thing that you have to remember is that india is also a member to singapore convention on mediation so these are the few things that you need to remember now the singapore convention is also known as united nation convention on international settlement agreement resulting from med mediation so also remember this is under the aegis of un so united nation convention on international settlement agreements resulting from mediation this is also what is called as the singapore convention on mediation just remember these are one or the second the same thing within the convention in force businesses seeking enforcement of a mediated settlement agreement across border can do so by applying directly to the courts of countries that have signed and ratified the treaty instead of having to enforce the settlement agreement as a contract in accordance with each other country's domestic process so what does this basically means that if a country has signif uh, like signed this particular treaty and also ratified it it means that the process would be uh, the process of dispute management or the uh, redressal would happen through the uh, process mentioned in this convention and not according to the domestic country's judicial system so that is one of the major thing that need to be considered over here apart from that the other things that you need to know about this convention it is that the harmonized and simplified enforcement framework under the convention translate to savings in time and legal cost so basically what happens when there are two countries which are at like lock head because of the different judicial system in both of the countries and how they consider the process of mediation a lot of time a lot of money is wasted in that whole procedure so once if there is a harmonized and simplified uh, enforcement framework it becomes easier for the dispute to like mediated at a quicker place so this is one of the thing that need to be remember so as on september 1 the convention has 53 signatories including india china and us just remember uh, china and us are also the part of this convention along with india according to the in, uh, statement the convention which entered into force on saturday would boost india's ease of doing business credential by enabling swift mediated settlement of corporate dispute so if you see the ease of doing business index which is released by world bank uh, mentions that one of the major hurdles or one of the major parameter on which india is not scoring very well is actually enforcement of contract so this particular uh convention will help india to enforce the contract in a better way in a quicker resolution method businesses in india and around the world will now have greater certainty in resolving cross border dispute through mediation as the convention provides a more effective means for mediated outcomes to be enforced now just uh, from a holistic point of view just understand this this convention will eventually help the people who have been like having a dispute for a long period of time and who does not have much faith in the judicial system of the cross border country so in that regard this whole convention will make it easier for the businesses to go ahead and do more transaction with the cross border country so these are the major thing that you need to know just remember this is the first time a treaty has been named after singapore it has been uh, 
and started in 2020 india china and us are its signatories and it is basically for the corporate dispute this particular convention will deal with the corporate dispute so these are the few things that you need to remember i hope you have understood this video if you have any doubt feel free to drop the comment thank you